A uh, former Kansas school counselor in prison for raping a student is seeking a pardon from the governor. Brooke Dinkle, sentenced to prison last year. New at 6, Cakes Brian Ramsdale here with a look at what it takes to get a uh, pardon from the governor. The process of getting a pardon has multiple steps. Dinkle is at step number two, which is publishing her intent of getting a pardon. This article published on June 10th takes convicted child sex offender Brooke Dinkle one step closer to the possibility of a pardon. Dinkle was a middle school guidance counselor at the time of the accusations that she raped a 13-year-old boy. She was convicted in 2014 on two counts of rape. She was sentenced to nearly 14 years in prison and lifelong supervision by the state. Dinkle is required to put a legal notice in a newspaper of the county she was convicted before the prison review board will look at her case. No matter the circumstances, the board takes every clemency application seriously and they review all factors. So it's very thorough and we make sure that we want the community to be heard as well. And so that's, that's all taken into great consideration when uh, recommendations are made. Reasoning behind that legal notice is to allow anyone to voice their thoughts on granting a convicted person a pardon. If the Prison Review Board finds Dinkle's pardon request favorable, it then goes to the governor for final say. The final decision comes from the governor's office. However, he has no timetable that he works with. Now, Governor Brownback has not pardoned any felon, and from the start of the accusations or the court case in 2003, Dinkle has maintained that she was the one who was raped.